Vlogmas day 10. I hope you're all feeling really well today. So it's about quarter past eight. I'm just getting Jaden ready to take him to school. Leo's not got preschool today, so it's just Jaden. They're just eating their breakfast and then we are off to school. I'm hoping to do some crafting today. I've got some lovely Christmas hats to make. So before I do all that, I need to take Jane to school and then I've got to go to our local farm, which is about five minutes down my road. I've got to buy some milk and some bread. Thursday morning. It's Vlogmas day 10 and it's 20 to 9 and Jaden needs to be in school in five minutes time. <laughs> Everyone what you've done last night for all your friends. So last night Jaden sat lovely and wrote all of the cards, Christmas cards for his friends. So you've got a little post in your classroom haven't you Jaden? You're like Santa. So here they are. So he has got a little card and a little candy cane for all of his friends. So he's taking them into school today. And tonight we're going to be making some Christmas cards for the family, aren't we? We better get you to school then. Go say bye. So I made it at the farm. I've got my mask on, so you might not hear me as well. But I'm now about to go in and. I just want to say how annoying is it when your glasses steam up if you have to wear glasses I have to literally put my glasses all the way down on my mask but a little tip that I told my mum is if you use toothpaste on your lens leave it on for a little while and wipe it off apparently it does really work I tried it one day but I didn't leave it on long enough so it it still steams up So I'm back home now and I'm really excited to show you what I want to show you how to make. First of all, my mum taught me how to make this gorgeous little Christmas hat. This is a little hat that my son Jaden actually made. I helped him with it and I learned by watching Jaden and my mum on the video call on how to make this little hat. So my mum makes these and she made them in one of her first Vlogmas videos, I believe. So I will leave her in the description box below in case you want to go and try that out. These are a smaller size and I stuffed this one with tissue because it was string and it was sort of see-through here. So I got this grey wool and the pink wool from Poundland. I had the idea of making these hats a little bigger and putting them on a Terry's chocolate orange for Christmas, for gifts. My partner loves Terry's chocolate orange, so I thought I'd make one for him. First of all, I tried making it in the pink colour because I was going to make it for my mother-in-law to be. So first of all, I made this size in the pink. It came out really lovely and I added these little stick-on sequins from Home Bargains. I got these from Home Bargains for just £1 and there's a hundred in there in diff three different sizes to big, medium and small. So I use them stickers on here and I have stuffed this one as well because it came out a bit droopy and it's not the size that I wanted. So I tried measuring this on the Terry's Chocolate Orange and it was just too small. So instead I thought I'd make it pretty and I'm going to use it on a wine bottle or even just adding it to a gift or you can use it as decoration for at home. There's lots of things you can do with these. My mum uses these little ones to add together on a bit of string to hang it as a decoration. So here was the perfect size I made for my Terry's Chocolate Orange. I've just got it out of the box and popped this little hat on. How cute is this? So this is going to be put in my partner's stocking for Christmas. Just pop the orange out so you can see. 
So here's the Terry's chocolate orange and it fits really nicely in this little hat. Just like that look. Just before I show you how to do that, I just wanted to show you something else you can make by using this method. So you can also make little wreaths. This was one that I just really quickly put together one night while watching telly. It doesn't take long and it came up really lovely for tree decorations. You could put them on cards, presents, gift tags, anything. So this was made in sort of the similar way and I will be showing you on my next video how you make these little wreaths. We need a just a toilet roll, some sellotape and some scissors. We need some wool, any wool, or even if you don't have wool, you could try using string that I did, but I feel like it doesn't work as well because you might have to stuff it just to make sure that there's no gaps or some pretty glittery wool, or you can even try some chunky wool. I haven't tried that yet, so let me know if you do. And also something to measure the length of the string with is your toilet roll and your scissors. So first I'm going to squeeze it down to make it easier to cut and I'm going to cut about that width along. So now it looks like this. I'm now going to do exactly the same again. We now have two circles of the toilet roll. So next we're going to cut them both in half. So just in the middle like this and the same with the second one. So now you're going to want to add these two pieces together. So just by putting them like this and stretch them out so you can measure about 10 centimeters in length. Once you've measured, simply sellotape them together on the middle and then sellotape them around the top. So it makes quite a large circle and this should fit over a Terry's chocolate orange. Now my toilet roll is the correct size and it's sellotaped together. I'm now going to get my wool that I'm going to use. So I've decided to use this nice glittery wool. You're going to want to measure the wool size to about 45 centimetres. i done 50 on my previous one but I'm going to try 45 because it was just that little bit too big. So here's the size of 45 centimetres so it should be about this long. And I'm going to cut this off now. I'm now going to measure each bit of wool and just cut as many as you can. Okay, so I have cut out quite a few pieces. You may need to go back and cut out some more. So make sure you have enough to start off so firstly what we're going to do is we're going to take one bit of wool fold it in half turn the loop to the top pop it under the toilet roll put your finger through the loop at the top and then all you're going to do is put the two ends through the loop and pull down so it's connected to the toilet roll like this and make sure you pull it nice and tight so now what you're going to do is you're going to make your way all the way around until it's fully covered the toilet roll So I'm halfway through now, I've got this bit left to do, I'm getting there, it looks like Santa's beard, but it looks really pretty. I forgot to say as well, make sure you leave out one piece once you've done all of the rest to measure it easily while cutting some more if you need more. This bit is quite time consuming, but once it's done it will look so pretty, so keep going and finish it all around here. So 
so finally it's all the way around so it should look something like this if you're using this type of wall it might be more difficult if you're doing it for the first time as it's quite hard to see where you're going what you're going to do now is take all of this bit in the middle and you're going to poke it through to the other side and once you've done that so once it's all up this side you're going to get another piece of string and you're just going to tie it around the top where you want it to go and you'll have a nice pom-pom on top Okay, so I've tied the top now and I've just popped the orange underneath so I know exactly where to tie it. It might help you if you have the orange already. If you don't, then just about where I've tied it. It's hard to see on here with the um, tinsel. I haven't tried the tinsel um, wool yet. So yeah, it's quite hard to see on where you're going with it, but it does look pretty. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to cut the top off just to make it a bit smaller as like a little um, pom-pom. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so the top is all trimmed now and here is the final finish woolly hat. It's a cute little gift for someone either to put in a stocking or just as a little present to say Merry Christmas. This is also a really good idea if you have children for a teacher's little thank you gift and hope they have a lovely Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed this video and tomorrow will be a wreath making one hopefully. So I hope you enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.